Since this channel is uh, kind of about the journaling also to some extent, how it increases your productivity, your clarity, and uh, in a way that's something I want to explain a bit more in detail as that's not the entire truth here. The thing with orange juices is that uh, preferably it has to be the ones with like most pulp. That's the ones you want to go for, the ones that have like floating bits of uh, actual oranges in them. Ah, they're just so good. And instead of me just telling where we are, let me show you. Happy New Year's, I guess. So I'm here in Florida. A bit warmer than in Vöro in Finland, but... <sighs> and the fun thing being that now that we came here, it's like uh, plus 15 something now at 9, 10 in the morning and during daytime a bit over 20. And we have like something close to minus 30 degrees in Finland, so yeah. Imagine that. So earlier during the fall I came to a conclusion or more of a realization about my physical health. As I was working long shifts at the ER I came home I was really tired I wanted just to take a nap and so on. I figured I had to get to the bottom of this. Uh, remedy number one, uh, start exercising. Look at your diet. And uh, yeah. So that's something I've been now doing for I think the past two months. Which brings us on to the topic of today, so let me just get back to the car and take a shower and... Uh, yeah, who knew I could still make vlogs? I mean, it's an eternity since the last time. Here we are again. A fun thing being here that there's... Literally only Finns pr pretty much living here. Considering everyone's from Finland, you, you would imagine that everyone's used to the cold. But then us who are like true Finns, uh, who haven't been here in like, what, six years or so? Yeah, we're enjoying ourselves at this weather. Whereas uh, so then the Finns who have been living here for a tad longer are like, hell nah, it's too cold. They're not gonna bother coming to the pool. And pretty much now when we actually came out here to the pool, it seems to become cloudy. So prior to this, we were sitting at our backyard there and the weather was pretty good. And we figured might as well change over to the swimwear, come here, take a dip in the pool. And the part of me running there in the intro was uh, actually the day before yesterday. Well, I had some unexpected change of plans and didn't have time to set up for say, any kind of video shooting, so I'm instead here now talking today. As we travel into 2024, it's time for all of the new year, new me bullshit and everyone's gonna give a new year's resolution. So obviously mine's gonna be, I was thinking, 3840 by 2160. Uh, 4K? You, aren't we talking about resolutions? Anyway. <laughs> And the thing I've been thinking about is that since this channel is uh, kind of about journaling also to some extent, uh, in a lot of videos I talk about how it increases your productivity, your clarity and uh, all kind of benefits like that. In a way that's something I want to explain a bit more in detail as that's not the entire truth. I mentioned it about it a few times here on the channel that I graduated med school now during the summer. Obviously it took six years of my life to go through all of that. During that time uh, it felt like my energy was, to be honest, really low as med school itself it was really intensive for me. One of the first things I did during that time was to cut out all kind of physical exercises. Of course looking at all of this in retrospectively it wasn't a smart decision to do. Obviously I gained a lot of weight uh, and my physical health just uh, plummeted downwards. Uh, and uh, now since I graduated and I've been now figuring out the ways of uh, being a resident there at the ER I kind of start to feel like I have some control of my daily life. Uh, and uh, that was for a few months until then uh, about in the beginning of November I started taking my physical health again seriously. Basically what I did was uh, I booked an online or I would say probably more close of a remote personal trainer for me uh, who made a custom meal plan for me including a workout regime which I've been now following now. And to be honest that's made terrific improvements on my energy levels and uh, feels like this is just something I should be straightforward about uh, considering I talk on this channel about 
about the advantages of writing and uh, how to do lists and so on, make you more productive and all the benefits of journaling. I found in a local store Liquid Death. This is, to be honest, the most overpriced water I've ever bought in my life. It wasn't six or eight pack of uh, surely large cans, but it's basically just water and, and it costs upward to two dollars per can, which doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, surely the label says uh, mountain water, natural artesian, but I have no idea of what makes water artesian. Uh, at least not the taste of it. <laughs> Each to their own. Not gonna buy this a second time though. Though I'm not aiming for this to be any kind of fitness channel, I just want to say that in addition to all the things riding, go for a run or hit the gym and do it regularly as it's just gonna do wonders. That's the end of uh, motivational speeches regarding physical workouts. And <laughs> that's briefly what I just wanted to get off my chest regarding all of this. And I guess we're gonna continue about our day here at the pool, enjoy the weather of at least what's left of it. So I'll catch up with you another time. See ya. It's not warm at all, but it's manageable, it's doable. Way warmer than the 1k polar plunge that Timo did. <laughs> See ya.